Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. So this upcoming Friday, we have some money coming in, and I want to take care of my personal and everything, like my personal savings and personal spendings. I want to take care of them, budget them, make a plan, and give myself a certain amount each week to spend for weekly spendings and also cover different expenses. So with that being said, for this video, I'm going to need a sip of Mountain Dew Voltage because I got to get through. <laughs> Oh goodness. <laughs> so let's get started with today's video. Um, it's gonna be a long one. I just got done filming. Today, I am filming this on Saturday, July 22nd right now. And honestly, I am so tired. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so tired. I have filmed, it's now gonna be four videos today. I have one more to do after this. I don't even know if I can even do it. Like, I am so tired of sitting here looking at this screen. But we have to. So let's get started. Um, this is my computer you're looking at. This is my screen share. Um, let me pump this chair up first. We're going to make the budget plan right now. But I got to fix my chair first. Oh gosh, pump it back up before I feel like I'm gonna. I don't know what today. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. Okay, let's go. We gotta get going. Um, so budget plan. I don't. I think I want to make this in Notion, but I might just make it in Word. Oh no, that's right. I want to do it in Canva. Which I know, to, I know some people, you're like, oh my gosh, that's, that's kind of weird. But I know. But I want to do it in Canva. Um, do they have like a budget sheet or something? Like a budget? Oh, budget. What What is this? See all. Yeah, budget templates. Monthly budget. I want something more cute. But I just like want to like do something. Monthly budget finance planner, monthly budget, monthly budget, monthly budget tracker. Okay. This one's really, really cute. Let's use this one. I like this. Okay. Let's get started here. I'm so tired of sitting here trying to film. <laughs> so let's go. Let's get going into this. We got it. Okay. Here is our monthly planner. Um, I want to organize this here and make it... I, I need this to shut up. It's like really bugging me right now. Finally. Okay. I want to take this here, but I, I like need this on. But like it sounds like I'm like... It's like on delayed reaction. Okay. This is good. I can hear myself and I, I sound okay. Let's get started here. So... Um, month and the year, we can add text to this. The month and the year is going to be, honestly, it's not a month. So I'm going to put July to August 2022. Or 2023. What's wrong with me? 2023. My budget goal. So let's figure out how much money I'm going to be receiving here. So I'm going to have 609 as of this Friday. Um, minus 60. Six. Plus 200. That'll be going into August at this point. Minus 68. Plus 200 will be at August 11th minus 68 plus 200 on August 25th minus 68 plus two okay so let me figure this out again so we have 609 this Friday 
I'm just gonna take out the the money for the for my thing all the well at once. So 68, 68, 68, 68. Okay. So that's a lot. Now we're gonna get 200, 200, 200, 200. So 1,137 dollars. So my goal is. So if I figure out my spendings, 50, 50, 50. My goal is $1,020 for the end of August, okay? Um, so date, let's start filling this in. I really hate how it like, how this is working. Like it doesn't even let you like add like your text where it needs to go, but text. Let me just duplicate, oh, there we go, that works. Okay, so the date, we're gonna fill in the dates here. Let's duplicate all of these and I'm going to type in the date. So we're gonna have all of the dates that I'm getting money in, which is income. We're gonna have July 28th. I'm gonna insert the, I don't even want this little shape on here. Why is that even on there? Okay, that, that needs to just go. Um, I don't want a line. Eh, okay, text, body text. Okay, and this is already Canva Sans. It's just more small, right? Canva Sans, Canva Sans. And what size is this? 12, let's make this size 13. Okay, so July 28th, and I'm gonna move this one up to here. So July 28th, then let's duplicate this one and make it the same. And that's gonna be August 4th. August 8th, right? No, that's not right, it's gonna be August 7th, right? No, August 11th, what am I thinking? August 4th, August, Eleventh, and let's make this one go in the middle here. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna have August eighteenth, and then after that, we're gonna have August twenty-fifth. And then after that one, we're gonna go. We're just gonna jump into September first. Um, but I'm not gonna include that. I'm gonna include right here. End of month goal. Actually, let's let's just see this. End of August goal. That's pretty small. Can we fit it in here? Yeah, okay. End of August goal. Oop, move that now. End of August goal. Shrink it some more. End of August goal. Okay. I actually could just take this one right here and just like delete it. I don't really want anything down at that bottom part. I don't really need anything. Sorry, I had to fix something. Okay, back to what I was doing. Um, fixed expenses. So fixed expenses are going to be the other stuff here. Okay, which will be, uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute, I'm sorry. Fixed expenses are things that do not change, like, you know, bills, but other expenses are things like optional, like, you know, so then you have your total expense, total income, and total savings notes. So let's let's get this going. Um, I'm going to duplicate this right here 
and then I'm just going to put this in for description and these should all be the same. So we're just going to have in here weekly savings and spendings and that's the same every week. So I'm going to duplicate this a few times. We're going to have one right here. We're going to have one right here. We're going to have one right here. And I'm going to duplicate one more time to have one right here. So right there, they're all the same. Weekly savings and spendings. Mostly savings. Um, and now we're going to add in the amounts. So let's also take this little one again, bring it back over here. Amount. July 28th is $400. And then every week from then forward is only 200 Okay, so $200. So now I can just one, two, three. Make three more duplicates and then bring them down. So there's a 200 Let's Let me just try to line these up because my OC, I don't have OCD but like I hate to say that because OCD is like a really big more bigger problem than what people think it is but like it just gives me really really terrible like anxiety if things are not straight like this right now like I'm just like so worried that like it's not straight this one is messing everything up okay it's still crooked just move on just I can't I just cannot move on can't move on till it's straight and it's not straight either. Uh, okay, let, let's just move on. Um, okay, fixed expenses. Um, so, I'm not going to type in a date. I'm just going to type in like weekly because it's every week. I don't need to type in an actual date. So, I'm just going to put in weekly. Um, and then I'm just going to one, two, three, four. And then let me just bring these in. There, there's gonna be actually there's gonna be five more till that week. So I gotta add five. Let's say do one more weekly. Okay, they're crooked too. They're not straight. Okay, let's just fix this one real quick. That should be good. And then I'm just gonna put in here. iMac payment. Now when I took out my iMac I had an option either to pay for it normally or pay for it in payments and I wanted to do payments because I just didn't really have all the money up front. I wanted to save it and that's what I wanted to do so there we go. Canva is finally getting to understand that I'm going by this grid and it needs to line everything up for me. Thank you Canva. Um, so now I'm going to take the amount. Now every week I'm just going to count $68 because there is a transfer fee to transfer it to my other account. Um, but really it's $66. But I'm going to do $68 every week. I wouldn't have to do $68, but that's about what it's going to be. So I'm just going to count $68. It's better to overestimate than to underestimate and it still is not getting the understanding that I want to, there it goes, now it's gonna do it, thank you. Let's increase one more time, ew. Why are they going crooked too, ew. That one went crooked, that one went crooked. Okay, so $68 a week, so total of iMac payment is gonna be, let's see, Calculator, calculator, one, two, three, four, five. So 68 times five is $340, 340. So a total of $340 for an iMac payment. Um, now, total expense, and then other expenses, I'm going to put in um, weekly again. And I'm not going to do it each time. I'm just going to do, I guess I could though. I want to give myself $40 a week to spend for extra. Okay, so I'm just going to line all these up in here. And hopefully Canva gets the note and starts to put them in for me. 
almost had it. There it goes. Okay, one more. Oh, it messed up again. Okay, so weekly, 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 weekly. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, description. I'm going to just put in spending. Allowed to spend. Actually, I'm just going to do spendings. Spending. And let's line this one up pretty good here. I messed up the button. Every time I click the wrong button, then it doesn't work. Okay. It should get it again, but that's okay. We already finished now. So spending. Let's bring this one more in the middle. There we go. Now each week, like I said, I'm going to give myself $40 to spend. No more. I don't need no more. Um, so $40 to spend every week. And that's actually a pretty good amount. Um, I should be good with that. I messed up again. Fix this one. Okay, so $40 a week and that is going to give us a total spending money of let's do 40 times 5. That would be I'll just use a calculator. If it was 50 it would be what? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, 40 times 5. $200. So, let's put this in here. So now it says total expense. So my total expense is 3, 4, 5, 40. So 5, 40 for these five weeks. And then my total income for all this time is 400 plus 200, 400 plus 200 plus, okay, 200 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 400 is 1,200. So $1,200. And then I'm going to put in here total savings. So we got to take out the 540 minus 540. What? Oh, it's the 1020 if I spend nothing. I should lower my spendings because I really do not need no $40 a week. Some weeks will vary, but I really don't need 40 a week. Like there's some weeks where I won't spend anything. There's other weeks where I'll spend 50. There's other weeks where I'll spend 30. It varies a lot. So let's just do, I think I like to change it just to 20. That would lower it down by half the amount from 200. Should be 100 then. 2, 4, 6, 8, 100. Yeah, right? 100? 2, 4, 6, 8, 100. Wow. That, that saves a whole 100 more dollars. Um, so then total income. But then again, I do have some saved. So that has to be coming in clutch. So let me add that in here as well. Move that. I'm going to put plus what I'm going to have saved which I'm going to have my money, so 1200 plus right now per notion. I have, come on, where is it? Cash stuffing and saving, 209. So 1409. So plus 209 equals 1409. So plus 209 equals 1409. Okay, let's move that down here a little bit. There we go. So total savings, we're going to adjust that. So 1409 minus 440 is $969. And then my total spending is 440, 969. And I'm going to adjust this to nine. 970 minimum. Okay. So there we go. And that's pretty much all I really want to add. I will add one more little section here. I'm just going to type in here. Goal. 
try to lower other expenses for spending money. Save more. Okay, and then let's bring that in here. I'm gonna have to shrink it some. Maybe go on two lines and there we go. So there is my monthly budget. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna download it as a PNG file. You guys can also make one of these if you'd like on Canva. I never thought Canva would have something like this. It's so creative though. And then I'm just gonna go over to, in this, cash stuffing and saving, and I'm gonna create a little spot here. I don't, I think I wanted to make it like right here, like at the end of this receipt. This table organizer is supposed to go right here. And then I should have another line of stars in here. Star, 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 to separate everything. Okay, let me see something here. July 21st, $800 saved. Failed. So this now gets to be made a new color, which is going to be red because I did not do what I need to what I need to do. And we're going to put it right here. Fail. <laughs> um, this is pending 1050 by August 1st. I'm going to change this thing created. I'm going to click created July 22nd. Deadline is August, the last day of August, which is going to be August 25th, the last Friday in August. 1050 saved. We're going to adjust this to $970 saved. Personal penned, pending, or pending. I better hit that goal. If I don't, I'm going to give up on it. I won't give up, but I'm just, it's really upsetting. Okay. Now, let's take this. We'll keep that. Let's add in a new one of these. Duplicate that. Let's change the color of it to, let's use a gray. And I'm going to put in here budget monthly organizer. And I'm going to bring this down by one. That way it's a little bit separate. And then I'm going to insert this right in here. Insert right there. And then I'm going to remove these spaces. That way that little star is right under it. And I'm going to put a star right in here to separate it one last time. Oh, it don't want to let me go all the way over there. That's fine. OK, so there is the monthly budget organizer right here. Um, that is my goal, so I can check that at any time. Um, and that is pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to come together with you guys and make something for a monthly budget organizer. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in to today's video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.